Hey everyone, you know there are tons of people out there who are scared of bees, wasps, cockroaches, or termites. Few insects inspire quite as much fear as spiders, and for good reason. After all, these creepy crawlies are some of the most dangerous creatures in the animal kingdom, as their bites can easily kill or seriously harm your body. However, there are some spiders out there that are a lot more dangerous than the others, and some may be even crawling around your house or on you right now. So let's get prepared to become a tiny bit paranoid as we count down the 15 most poisonous spiders. Let's begin. Number 15. The Loxoxales Tenochtitlan while there are plenty of poisonous spiders out there, few are quite as terrifying as the Loxoxales Tenochtitlan. This weirdly named spider found in 2019 in Mexico and named after the ancient Aztec city of Tenochtitlan. This spider is seriously scary, as it has poison that's capable of burning human flesh. While not deadly, its tissue-destroying venom can cause lesions in the skin that are up to 40 centimeters in width, making a bite from one of these creatures extremely painful. To make matters worse, they typically hide in holes and between objects, furniture, or in walls, meaning that homes and hotels are a common resting place for the spider. So yeah, I would suggest being a little bit more cautious than normal on your next Mexican beach vacation. Number 14. Indian Ornamental Tree Spider while India is a country filled with thousands of different species, few are as feared as the Indian ornamental tree spider. Known for its beautiful black, white, and silver markings, it comes in at an impressive 20 centimeters in width, and they're known to live in holes and in tall trees, where they make asymmetric funnel webs, and this is where they catch various species of flying insects. Now, while these tarantulas don't bite often, when they do, the pain is excruciating. This is because their bite is known to cause intense pain, as the spider's fangs are not only quite large and are able to produce large puncture wounds, but also filled with venom that can cause intense pain and in very rare cases, potentially deadly anaphylactic shock. As a result, if you ever see one in the wild, yeah, I'd suggest keeping your distance. Number 13. The Red Widow while the Black Widow may be the most famous of the trio and the Brown Widow may be a standout in terms of toxicity, the Red Widow is the more docile cousin of the bunch. Distinguished from most other spiders due to its mostly red body, black abdomen, and distinct red hourglass mark, they're generally found in the scrublands of South and Central Florida. Now, generally speaking, a Red Widow spends its day eating insects and leaving people alone. But if its eggs are in jeopardy or caught near a person's skin, this species will most certainly bite. While the amount of venom it lets out is relatively small, it is in effect similar to a black widow, as it causes pain, cramping, and nausea in most cases, and symptoms such as muscle aches, hypertension, paralysis of the diaphragm, and difficulty breathing in more severe cases. However, unless you're a young child or very old, you'll likely recover quite quickly. Number 12. Yellow Sack Spider Yellow sack spiders are a species that's made its way around the world, and this is most certainly not for the better. Coming in at 5 to 10 millimeters in length, this species is quite small, yet this is offset by the fact that the yellow sack spiders are extremely dangerous and territorial. You see, unlike most other spider species, which don't like to bother humans, the yellow sack spider has no problem doing so. Generally found inside homes and buildings, they can reproduce quite rapidly and are very protective of their eggs. So if you're unfortunate enough to mess with one, you can expect to have a noxious cytotoxin pumped into your body. This produces everything from simple swelling to necrotizing lesions, depending on the amount of venom injected, making a bite from one of these far from pleasant. So if you ever find yourself clearing out an old attic or an office, I'd advise that you look twice before touching any weird surfaces. Number 11. The Brown Widow while the Black Widow may be bad, its less famous cousin, the Brown Widow, is far worse. While it's believed that this species of spider evolved in Africa, it's now spread across the globe as an invasive species. Standing apart thanks to its orange hourglass on its otherwise brown, black, and yellow body, they come in at a respectable 38 millimeters in length, and they're known to do especially well in tropical areas. Now, generally speaking, a brown widow builds its web in secluded, protected sites around homes and in woody vegetation, and in terms of its toxicity, the brown widow is not a species to ignore. This is because it has two times as much venom as the black widow. However, it thankfully only lets out a very small amount when biting someone, and so while their bites are painful and leave a red mark, they're usually not deadly. Number 10. The Ornate Tiger Spider if you like tigers, then chances are you have an appreciation for the ornate tiger spider. 
Having a skin coloration that is practically identical to its feline cousin, they come in at a massive 25 centimeters in length and are by all accounts a very beautiful species. Native to the forests of Sri Lanka, ornate tiger spiders usually live in the holes of trees or behind pieces of loose bark, and when they strike, they bite hard and fast. This is because while their bite is usually reserved for their prey, they'll also frequently bite humans, and their venom causes intense pain, muscle cramps, nausea, and dizziness. To make matters worse, the effects of a bite often linger for a very long time, as even months afterwards it's not uncommon for victims to continue to suffer from stiff joints, sore muscles, and other issues. As a result, while these spiders have not managed to kill any humans so far, a bite from one is something to be avoided at all costs. Number 9. The Cobalt Blue Spider While most spiders are brown, black, yellow, or gray, the Cobalt Blue Spider is especially scary due to it being bright blue. Found throughout the rainforest of Southeast Asian countries such as Vietnam, Malaysia, Thailand, Cambodia, and Myanmar, scientists still don't know why these tarantulas have their blue color, but what they do know is that they're one of the most aggressive tarantula species on the planet. This generally manifests itself in its hunting instincts, as these 15 centimeter long spiders mercilessly hunt prey such as insects, other spiders, amphibians, and mice. Once they reach their prey, they overpower them and bite them in order to inject a paralyzing toxin before dragging the meal back to its burrow to feast on. Yeah, as you might expect, this toxin also takes quite a toll on humans. That's because the spider's bite dishes out a severe venom that leads to intense pain, inflammation, muscle spasms, and arthritic stiffness that can last for several weeks. Despite these dangers, many people keep these spiders as pets. However, unless you'd like to risk getting a nasty bite, I'd suggest looking into purchasing a species that's a bit more passive. Number 8. Goody Sapphire Ornamental while this spider may have a strange name, what's even more odd are its unique physical traits. That's because unlike almost every spider out there, it has a bright blue, yellow, and white pattern, and it's only found in a small 100-kilometer square patch of forest near the town of Gudi in India. Sporting a leg span of up to 15 centimeters when fully grown, these critters are absolutely massive. In order to get to this size, they prey on small flying critters which they catch by making funneled webs in the holes of trees. And with most brightly colored insects in the animal kingdom, they are bright in color in order to warn other creatures about their venomous bites, which can reportedly cause an irregular heart rate, sweating, headache, stinging, cramping, or swelling for weeks on end. Yet the majority of the sapphire ornamental bites do not release any venom, and as such they become popular pets. However, this is a major problem because both habitat destruction and pet farming has made them a critically endangered species. Thus, while these spiders may be beautiful, I'd suggest not purchasing one if you see it at your local pet store. Number 7. The Redback Spider Australia, it's known to be home to some truly terrifying creatures, and the redback spider can certainly be counted among them. Found both in Australia and in nearby areas such as New Zealand and Southeast Asia, these tiny spiders stand out due to their large black abdomen and massive red mark across their back. They tend to craft their webs into tangled, funnel-like retreats, and they tend to make them in dry, sheltered sites such as in rocks, logs, shrubs, junk piles, and sheds. Now, generally speaking, smaller male specimens are not much of a threat, but the larger females can cause some serious harm. While you usually have to accidentally touch a redback spider in order for it to bite you, if it does, it releases a venom that acts directly on your nerves, producing symptoms such as severe pain, sweating, muscular weakness, nausea, and vomiting. Yet while these critters sometimes killed their victims in the past, an anti-venom has been available since 1956. And from that point on, not a single person has died from a bite given by this species. Regardless, getting bitten by one ain't fun, so I'd suggest being cautious when in and around this spider's habitat. Number 6. Goliath Bird Eater Tarantula Alright, I love this one, and while there are many types of tarantula out there, none quite match the Goliath Bird Eater. Holding the Guinness World Record for being the largest spider on the planet, these critters can have a leg span of up to 30 centimeters, making them about the size of the average dinner plate. Okay, they're found in the coastal rainforests of northern South American countries such as Suriname and Guyana, and they got their name thanks to an 8th century engraving that showed another kind of tarantula eating a hummingbird, despite the fact that the Goliath bird eater tarantula does not actually eat birds. Regardless, this species is known to dine on insects, frogs, and rodents, which it does by using its huge fangs to clamp down on its victims and pump in neurotoxins. 
and from there it drags the animal back to its burrow, liquefies its insides, and sucks it dry. And while this isn't exactly capable of doing this with a human, it certainly can still do some damage. Now, on one hand, its bite is relatively harmless. After all, while it contains venom, the pain is similar to that of a wasp sting. However, the really scary part about this one is that it can assail you with its venomous leg hairs. Yep, when threatened, the Goliath bird eater will rub its legs together and launch a shower of miniature missiles into the air. Now, these hairs then connect with your eyes and skin, causing irritation and possible allergic reactions. So while these critters really can't kill you, I'd suggest keeping your distance. Number 5. The Australian Funnel Web Spider When it comes to Australian spiders, the Australian funnel web is one of the nastiest in the country. Found along Australia's eastern coast, there are 35 variations of the funnel web to be found. However, it's the Sydney funnel web spider that's known to be the deadliest of them all. They measure in at a rather large 10 centimeters in length, and the females are usually rather reclusive, while the males tend to wander from place to place. It's these traveling males that usually come into contact with humans, and this is pretty problematic as this spider is widely considered to be one of the most toxic on the planet. And that's because it's got a venom that attacks your nervous system, inflicting uncomfortable symptoms such as copious secretions of saliva, muscular twitching, difficulty breathing, disorientation, confusion, and ultimately unconsciousness. Children are generally considered to be most at risk, and there are confirmed reports that some have died within 15 minutes of being bitten. These bites from the spider are considered to be very serious. However, you likely won't have to worry too much even if you are bitten. This is because in 1981, an anti-venom was made commercially available, and ever since, not a single person has died from a Sydney funnel web spider. It should also be noted that this spider's toxicity is a complete biological accident. That's because while almost every species in the animal kingdom is immune to its venom, the only two species that are harmed by it are the millipedes the spider feeds on and, unfortunately for us, primates such as monkeys and humans. Number 4. Joro Spiders As far as spiders go, few are visually as terrifying as the Joro spider. It's native to Japan, Korea, Taiwan, and China. These spiders have a pretty distinctive look as they come in at about 25 millimeters in length and have a yellow, black, and red body and long black and yellow legs. Now, on one hand, Joro spiders are quite useful. After all, Japanese researchers have injected Joro spider genes into silkworm eggs to create silk that's stronger, softer, and more durable than conventional silk. However, while they are highly venomous to small animals they kill, their fangs are thankfully too small to inject themselves into human skin, making them a scary yet relatively harmless sight. Despite this, Joro spiders are quick to trigger people's arachnophobia, especially given that the fact that they've recently been spotted far away from Asia. This is because in 2013 they somehow sprung up in northeastern Georgia, and ever since they've been spreading like wildfire. As of now, they've since spread to South Carolina, North Carolina, and Tennessee, and it's expected they'll gradually make their way up the eastern seaboard and reach places as far north as Canada. And while it's unclear what their impact will be on local ecology, what is clear is they frequently eat mosquitoes and flies. But since these species are quite the nuisance, researchers hope that their inevitable northward migration will end up being a good thing. However, since they are an invasive species with a venom that's very potent to other animals, there's also a fair chance that they could cause some serious ecological damage. Number 3. The Brazilian Wandering Spider While most spiders are known to stay in one place, the Brazilian Wandering Spider is known for its refusal to stay stationary. It's found throughout Central and South America, and it gained infamy in the early 19th century due to its tendency to wander into banana shipments. However, when not hanging out on a pile of bananas, they can be generally found roaming the jungle floor, avoiding the use of webs and instead killing its prey via both ambushes and direct attacks. Now, Generally speaking, they limit their hunting to insects, reptiles, mice, and amphibians, but if they deem it necessary, they will most certainly bite a human. This is problematic because a Brazilian wandering spider's venom contains a complex cocktail of toxins, proteins, and peptides, and will immediately affect the chemical receptors in their victims' neuromuscular systems. Once bitten, you can expect to experience initial symptoms such as severe burning pain, sweating, and goosebumps. After 30 minutes, symptoms tend to become more severe and include ailments such as nausea, abdominal cramping, hypothermia, vertigo, blurred vision, and convulsions, making this bite kind of a nightmare. And while only 2-3% to of bites are serious enough to need to be treated with anti-venom, there are a few isolated deaths that happen because this spider's bite every single year. 
Yet perhaps the strangest thing about this spider's bite is that it's an erection enabler. As strange as it sounds, the Brazilian wandering spider's venom boosts nitric oxide levels in the body, which in turn increases blood flow and can deliver a long, painful erection in human males. As a result, several pharmaceutical companies have actually begun looking into the idea of incorporating the venom into cures for erectile dysfunction. Number 2. The Brown Recluse At first glance, the brown recluse looks pretty harmless. They're found throughout central and southern United States. This 15 mm long spider doesn't look all that special, and it's called the brown recluse because it's, well, brown and very reclusive. However, if one happens to find its way into your home, then you may be in need of an exterminator. After all, while they tend to stay in dark, secluded areas such as under porches and inside any closets, they can survive without food for several months and produce more than 150 spiderlings in one year. Yeah, that's a problem, because brown recluses got a bite like no other. You see, getting bit by one, it's almost like a game of roulette. According to the Integrated Pest Management Program at UC Berkeley, 90% of bites heal without medical attention or scarring, and most will simply leave a small red mark and be accompanied by symptoms such as itching, chills, fever, nausea, or sweating. And since this goes away after a short period of time, there is usually very little to worry about. However, in about 10% of cases, a small white blister appears soon after the bite. This causes the tissue to become hard, and this soon creates blue-gray and blue-white patches around the bite area. Eventually, these explode into what's called a volcano lesion, which leaves a large gangrenous open wound that can be as large as a human hand. Now, generally speaking, these types of reactions can last more than eight weeks until a full recovery is made. To make matters worse, there's no available anti-venom, and so unless you're willing to take a pretty big risk, I'd suggest staying away from these scary ones. Number 1. The Black Widow Of all the spiders in the animal kingdom, few are as infamous as the Black Widow. Found in temperate regions on every continent except Antarctica, they are a few millimeters long and stand apart due to the red hourglass typically found on their bodies. They usually encounter humans in dark, dry areas such as barns, garages, basements, and outdoor toilets, and they're anything but a welcome sight. Considered to be the most venomous spider in North America, their venom is about 15 times stronger than that of a rattlesnake. Yet despite this, only female spiders are known to cause any serious damage, and typically a bite from a black widow does not release enough venom to kill a human. Regardless, the very old and very young are vulnerable to dying from their bites, and so no matter how old you are, you can expect to experience symptoms such as nausea, profuse sweating, severe pain in the abdomen and back, muscle aches, hypertension, and paralysis of the diaphragm with difficulty breathing. Unless you've got some black widow anti-venom on you, the pain usually lasts 8 to 12 hours, thus making their bites pretty serious. However, it's more than likely that you'll ultimately survive a bite from this awful arachnid. Now, what makes the Black Widow even more interesting is that it's captured the imagination of the public. After all, it's very prevalent in the media, as many murderous wives throughout history have been known as Black Widows due to them becoming widows after killing their husbands. Yet the most famous of the Black Widows is a fictional character, as the superhero Black Widow. She's captured the hearts and minds of many a Marvel fan. So I think it's fair to say that most wouldn't want to run into either the human or the insect version of a Black Widow. I'll see you next time. Watch our Animals playlist for more top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.